So what? That's right. Is the truth of God in you? That's it. I'm on a pastor Jenna. So what? Yeah. It's Christ in you. It's Christ in you. You can go to hell while you're here. That's true. I don't think that much of no minister in Jamaica from anywhere else. Amen. 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 I have no favoritism. No, you don't. I have no respect to person. No, you don't. Any of you ministers get up and make a mess. <laughs> Correct it openly. That's right. And once they repent, stop holding it over their head. That's right. Don't hold it over their head. Well, I remember when they did this. What about what you done and presently are doing? Amen. Someone say, whoo, I didn't know he was going to teach this tonight. The Holy Ghost is going to bring you what you got to have. Amen. This is church. This is Holy Ghost Church. Oh, yes. The Bible says. Now this I say in 1 Corinthians 1 and verse 12. Now this I say that every one of you says, I am a Paul. I'm going to break that stuff up. Yeah. And if you think Jamaica is the only place where I break it up, think again. Amen. Oh, no. Everywhere Amen. I go in the world where we have a lot of ministers, I find myself facing the same thing yeah. over and over and over and I got to preach the same thing in every country especially when you got a lot of ministers yeah. because some of them start competing against each other if I ordain a man some get jealous some get mad Amen. why they want it But when you're like that, you got a competitive spirit. That's right. True. That's right. Brother was talking to me today, and he referred to Brother Gary as Bishop. I said, don't you call him Bishop. He said, but hey, I said, I know I teach. The Bible tells us the bishop is an elder. Right. But when I ordain a young man an elder, don't call him Bishop. Right, right. Why do you do it like that, Pastor Jennings? For humble purposes. Humble. When they start getting old, then perhaps I call them bishop. Why are they young? Elder, brother, or minister. Right. And if you don't call them elder, that's fine. You can call them brother. Yeah. yeah. And no one should correct you. Or oh, you disrespecting the minister. If you can't be called a brother, you'll go to hell. That's right. <laughs> young brothers that been ordained elders, call them elder or brother or minister, not bishop. Yeah. Some of y'all so title crazy, you'll think you've been ordained. <laughs> That's right. Bishop, bishop, oh, hush your mouth. Hush your mouth. Brother, it's hard to be a brother. Amen. Easy to wear a title, but it's hard to live up to it. Oh, yes. Amen. Amen. You call any ordained brother, brother, and that brother lay you out, he's high-minded. Because at any time the apostles can be called brother, who are we? That's right. I'm your brother. That's right. I don't care if folk don't walk around. Pastor Jennifer, I ain't worrying about that. I'm <laughs> That's your brother. Right. I'm either your brother or your enemy. Yeah. I ain't no title crazy man. No. Brothers in Minnesota, right away, they start calling my brother, Elder Jennings, Bishop, and he got on them. Mm. He told them, no, go call me Bishop. Just stick to what I'm being addressed as elder. Right. Just leave it just like that. Amen. Why? For humble purposes. Some folks like to wear it sound. That's right. Bishop Williams. Amen. Title don't make nobody. You got to live up to it. So 
Some of the brothers that's ministering, if they would run off tonight mm. and try to start a false church, some of y'all right there in that temple will follow them. My Lord. That's how weak some of y'all are, and that's how shallow some of y'all are, and that's how close, dangerously close, you got to some of these ministers until you let them become your friend. I don't care nothing about your friendship. All I care is about saving your soul from hell. That's right. These overseers won't preach this no. because they're afraid of retaliation. The only fear of retaliation I have is if God retaliates, not people. That's right. I'm not seeking friends and I ain't begging for love. I'm striving to get out of, go away from hell and go to God in eternity. And God knows I'm going to tell the truth as much as God put in me. Amen. The Bible says what? Now this I say that every one of you says, I am a Paul. That's some of you here. And that's some of you that are watching. Amen. Some of you in California, too close to Minister Santana. Amen. Santana this, Santana that, San Santana nothing. All he is is a servant. Yeah. All he can do is go from one place to the other like he's at. Some of y'all in Texas is too close to Wint. Get out of Wint's face. Amen. Are you listening? Amen. Some of you are too close to my blood brother. Jennings, get out of his face. Yeah. Some of you are too close to me. Get out of my face because I ain't trying to be close to you. That's right. You better get close to that Bible That's or right. go to hell. That's right. Wonderful teacher. What being close to me going to do for you? <laughs> Nothing. You don't believe me? Ask Williams. That's right. Ask Shane. Yeah. Ask my wife and children. Nobody come before God in my life. That's Nobody. Right. Nobody. That's true. Nobody. That's true. And when we preach like this, comments over the air, that man got a chip on his shoulder. <laughs> He's mean. No, God made me a real watchman. Real watchman. That's it. And I have no respect of person. That's right. I have no favorites. Yeah. Well, you know. I ain't got no favorites. Uh, I really no. don't. You really don't. God for the world. Jones, you've been with me how many years? Almost 30 years. Almost Do I have any favorites? No favorites I ain't got none. You don't have none. Absolutely none. Well, you don't. Never did. It's a sin. That's right. That's you that have respect, a person commits sin. And a lot of preachers can't keep that standard for years. They can't. Amen. They allow themselves to get sucked into faith. No, no. Amen. You must always stand in the neutral corner. Amen. If not, spirit of error going to get in you. That's right. right. It doesn't matter if somebody is more supportive of the truth than another person. Stay in a neutral corner. Don't take sides. Amen. Don't put yourself in a predicament that you can't preach against something because you're afraid of offending your friends. And then after the service over, your friend put you to the side. Hey, man, you know, I'm glad you didn't say what you was going to say. Yeah, I know. But I, I thought about you while I was up here, and I didn't want to hurt you. Get out this pulpit. Get out. Amen. Amen. You ministers, your wives shouldn't have more influence on you than that Bible. That's right. Her thighs shouldn't dictate you. Her breasts ahead, shouldn't man. dictate you. Her bad performance shouldn't dictate you. That's right. Preacher. If you can't live up to that, Preacher. get out the pulpit for the Bible say, I say to you that have wives. But this I say, brother. The time is short. Here, chapter and verse. First Corinthians 7 and verse 29. This I say, brother. The time is short. What? The time is short. You see how much time we got? Yeah. Short. Short. This is a warning from heaven to you. Amen. The Bible is warning you. Amen. The Holy Ghost has. But this I say, brethren, the time is short. What? It remaineth. It remains. That both they that have wives 
be as though they had none. You ministers in Jamaica that are still getting in the pulpit, talking about the mistake that the brother made, make it your last time. All right. All right. You do it one more time, right. you're fired from the night on. Amen. Amen. You do it one more time, and I don't care who the minister is, you do it one more time, just once, you're fired. The Garden of Eden rule is going to be put in effect. That's right. Wasn't well, you told not to eat? Yeah. You ate? Yeah. Gone. Gone. Brother, do wrong. He don't need your feet on his neck. He needs you to pray for him. Amen. Amen. And this is one thing about people. You can make one mistake, just one. Let me tell you something. I'm glad it happened. Let me tell you why. Because it let him see himself. And it also showed him he overestimated himself. And it made him reevaluate his zeal. And caused him to slow down. And it challenges his, hum his humility. But it also showed how many was not getting the word in them who ran with it. There were some brothers here called some of the saints in Minnesota, in the States, trying to debate them over it. What? Just one mistake. And because they didn't get the word in them, they had too much Robinson in them. They were speaking in Robinson tongue, not the Holy Ghost. Oh, Robert, Robert, Robert. Holla, Gary! I'm glad it happened. Some of y'all ran with it, with it and was arguing with some of the saints here in Jamaica that knew better. Calling different temples, having arguments. And the reason why you did it was because the brother said it and you believed it because you was too close. And then it scared the life out of you when we reprimanded. Amen. Right then they was You better repent and stop just going to church singing and jumping and jerking like jerk turkey. Amen. You better repent and get this in you. Don't you know the Bible say you are saved if you keep in remembrance what I preach unto you, lest you believe in vain? The Bible says what there? Now this I say, brethren, that every one of you saith, I am a Paul. And what else? And I have Apollos. And what else? And I have Cephas. And what else? And I have Christ. And what else? Is Christ divided? Some of y'all are guilty here tonight. Hmm. Amen. Because when it happened, it manifested the hypocrisy that was in some of you. Amen. It manifested. Amen. You wasn't really in the truth, supporting the truth. You forsook the truth in your heart and didn't even know it. You see how quick it is to go to hell? You get one error and die with that error. You are go to hell because the Bible says do not error. Listen. Is Christ divided? Is Christ divided? Was Paul crucified for you? Well, did Paul die for you? Or were you baptized in the name of Paul? Do you see how the apostles laid the groundwork? And Paul was a great apostle. Yes, he was. This man challenged heaven and said, if an angels come from heaven, pitch any other gospel unto you. Let me show you how the spirit of error. Because when he made that error, some of you, oh, 
judge yourself now. When he made that error, some of you, I ain't got to wait, I ain't got to wait. Really? Oh, yeah? Tell me that. Waiting is an act of faith. Obedience is your works. If you didn't have me going to the altar, if I didn't believe it, I wouldn't go. I remember when I talked to my brother, he was, he was running, 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 running. I said, well, if you ain't got to wait, then you must not have the Holy Ghost. Because you got it, you waited. And I said, then I must not have it. Because I waited. And then everyone that waited, they must not have it then. The boss said, Terry. And when he said not many days hence, not many days hence, you can't look at that the way God look at it. Because your many days, the problem with many of you, you just got stuck on Terry. And you just, Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus, smoking. Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus. Your tongue down some girl's mouth. Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus, committing fornication. Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus, lying. Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus, favoritism. The Bible said he gave the Holy Ghost to those that obey him. You can wait all you want. You don't obey, you ain't getting nothing. That's right. Some of y'all got in the spirit over an era. Mm. Strange fire got a hold of some of you. Which proved you couldn't tell the difference. Yeah. From the spirit of truth and the spirit of error, that's scary. Now look at yourself and see what you want of those ones. Oh, hey! What had you doing to James Brown slide over an era? That's right. The Lord says, Terry, that's his word, his doctrine. The brother erred, and you went in some tongue. Like having a dog fight. Some of you up here. My Lord. You wasn't in no more spirit than I'm a walking Pepsi Cola. Amen. Hereby know we the spirit of truth. And the spirit of error. That's written here. Anointing don't come over an error. No. That'll make God of the devil. That's right. That's right. Examine yourself. See are you in the faith or not. Stop just watching the telecast. Pay attention. Your salvation hang on pay attention and obedience. That's right. How in the world can you obey over something you ain't listening to and learning? That goes for some of y'all. Right. Are you listening? Amen. I want to be sure that when God come for me, he had never told me, you should have said this, you should have said that. Oh, he ain't never going to have to say that to me. Because anyone been around me know God has given me a wide mouth. Oh, yeah. And I don't seek friendship from no one. And when I say no one, I mean no one. No one. That's right. Since the day over 45 years ago when heaven appeared to me, he done something to me that I don't even have words to explain. And if I try to explain it, it's still not enough. But I do understand what he done to me. And I do understand how he made me. I don't have favoritism with a soul living. I will die that way. You ministers cannot have a drop of favoritism. If you do, you're lost. And the minister that got favoritism, the Bible said he didn't have respect the person that commits sin. sin. And as long as you got favoritism and keep having it, you's a sinner. He's a sinner. He's a sinner. That's right. So you, you brothers that got the, the, the preacher's itch and want to <laughs> run up here, 
Want to run up here and mimic me? Oh, I don't want to hear nothing about that. Oh, no. And you can't. Favoritism alone is a hurdle to come over. Brother asked me, how in the world, Pastor Jenner? He said, I want to be a minister. I said, yes. He said, well, how can I be in love with my wife and preach the gospel and not be close to her? Aren't you close to your wife? I said, yes. I know. He said, I don't understand. I said, I know you don't. Stay away from the pulpit. I said, I'm close to her like the Bible requires. And I said, I'm not close to her like the Bible advised. What is that, Pastor Jennings? Put no other God before me. Don't have no other God before me. That's right. When you find yourself not willing to preach something because you know your own wife and children is guilty, get out the pulpit. When you find yourself don't want to preach something because a brother on security is close to you, get out the pulpit. But yeah. well, I'm scared he's going to leave. So what? It's his soul. That's right. Bible said preach the word. He didn't say Nick pick over it. Preach it. Preach it. That's right. When you find yourself got to pick and choose because you're worrying about the response you're going to get. You may get up and preach one day and the whole church sit quiet. That's right. That's right. Nobody say amen. Nobody say That's amen. right. You can't say, oh, the devil's in here. How do you know? They could be just quiet listening. That's right. That's right. Because you shouldn't preach to get a response. You preach so they can learn. That's it. Are you listening? You don't preach for respond. You preach so they can learn. And when they learn, they can prepare themselves to meet God. If nobody say amen, I'm fine. As long as you get this in your bosom. That's it. So you can live right. That's it. Because some of y'all say amen, amen. You ain't even heard what the minister said. You ain't heard nothing. Just yelling. Man, a brother ain't even got half his statement out yet. Read quick. Still in 1 Corinthians 1 at verse 12. This is a good lesson for the world. Amen. Listen. Now this I say that every one of you saith, I am of Paul, and I of Apollos, and I of Cephas. And Don't get caught up in no minister. That's right. Get into Jesus. Truly. The author. <laughs> That's right. Finisher of our faith. Gino Jennings ain't the author and finisher of your faith. <laughs> Jesus is. Jesus is. That's right. yeah. I'm striving to get into the kingdom. Glory to God, like we are encouraging you to do. Yeah. That's why I won't get close to nobody. I won't do it. Amen. Amen. You can ask my. and I is close, but there's a gap there. That's right. I kill him. Yes, you will. That's right. And he grew up with me. That's right. But I kill him. I have killed him. Oh, yes. And somehow or another, he keep resurrecting. <laughs> I mean, he just keep resurrecting. Every time I look, he's coming back. <laughs> and I killed him again. That's right. Next thing I know, I look, he's coming with his grave clothes on, <laughs> with Bible. The 
Bible say, if ye be without chastisement, wherein all are partakers, the Bible says you are bastards and not a son. I know it hurts a lot of folk if they see a minister get reprimanded, but it's part of the holy teaching. Oh, yeah. The Bible said all scriptures are given by the inspiration of God and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for, reproof, reproof. for correction, for instruction, in righteousness. in righteousness, that the matter of God may be perfect, complete, thoroughly furnished, thoroughly supplied unto all good works. That's what I have to do. That's right. And Paul said, this will I do if God permit. Yeah. Remember what the prophet Samuel said by God's permission and judge yourself. 1 Samuel 15 and verse 23. What is it? For rebellion is as the sin of witchcraft. So another spirit have you tonight? Witchcraft is practiced throughout the Caribbean. Oh, yes. It was one sister. Man, I can't think of that mother name. It was some word, the one that said, I'm not licky licky or lacky lacky. <laughs> Sister Duffus. What do they call witchcraft here? Obia. Some of y'all dealing with Obia. <laughs> Young, middle aged, and old, male and female. Got a hold here. Got a spirit. Got a spirit on you. According to the Bible, it's two spirits. That's right. The Bible says, "Hereby know we." Know He's me. telling us to know it. The spirit of truth. The spirit of God. And the spirit of devil. And the error. spirit of the devil. You That's better right. know them spirits, know so you can properly identify what's dealing with you and who. This is a scary thing. Church is not exempted from the spirit world. Don't you know the apostles fought with spirits? That's right. So I want to say, I don't believe that the spirit of the devil can get me. Right. 19th chapter of Acts. Acts. Yeah, that's, it. that's right. Acts chapter 19. And we'll start reading at verse 12. Sons of Sceva. Acts chapter 19, we'll start at verse 13. Follow me. Then certain of the vagabond Jews. Certain exorcists, of the wandering Jews. Exorcists. Them that practice exorcism. Took upon them. Wait a minute. Holy Ghost made them do it. Took upon them. The Lord guided them. Took upon them. The Lord moved them. Took upon them. Amen. They took matters in their own hands. To call over them which had evil spirits. What? The name of the Lord Jesus. Saying, we adjure you by we Jesus. We adjure you by Jesus. Whom Paul, whom preached. Paul preached. And there were seven sons of one Sceva, a Jew. Yes. And chief of the priests which did so. Then what? And the evil spirit answered. The evil spirit started talking. And said, Jesus I know. I know Jesus. And Paul I know. Wait, wait. Amen. I know Jesus because he the one put me out. That's right. I know Paul that's right. because he's the one that's terrorizing my kingdom. <laughs> that's right. I know Paul very well because I had him. Amen. Now Jesus got him. And I want him back. Come on. But what? Now the evil spirit answered and said, Jesus I know. Jesus I know. Paul I know. Paul I know. But who are you? Now, church, Jesus I know. Can you honestly, sincerely identify who is dealing with you? I want you to think deeper than you ever thought before. You can't tell me it ain't God. I'm just preaching the word. That's right. You judge your own self. That's right. All I know when I stand before God, I better not be lying in word or deed. Search yourself. This is a soul searching message. And make you not take nothing for granted. That's right. 
power of the devil and the spirit of error is all around the world, That's right. leading people to hell by the thousands, making them believe God is doing this, God said this, God made them do this, God, no, 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 no. That's why I got to look at the word of God first. And some people is offended by this action, wherein they should be glad by this action. That's right. I hold the Bible in front of you before I hold anything. What did he say? And the evil spirit answered and said, Jesus I know, and Paul I know, but who are ye? And the man in whom the evil spirit was leaped on them. Wait. Spirit did come out. But when you take matters in your own hands, confusion take place. That's right. Because look at what happened. And the man in whom the evil spirit was leaped on them. Wait a minute. It jumped on them. Them, them who? The sons of Sceva. Right. And then what? And overcame them. It overpowered them. And prevailed against them. And that evil spirit got victory over them. So that they fled out of that house. They went running. Naked. It beat them out their clothes. And wounded. And it hurt them. Amen. That's scary, isn't it? That's scary. That's scary. Witchcraft spirit is, the spirit is as the spirit of rebellion, which make you vulnerable for the working of Satan. Amen. Take your time, pay attention, and always sit in judgment upon yourself and nobody else. Close out with Samuel again. Back in 1 Samuel 15 and verse 23. That's what? For rebellion is as the sin of witchcraft. Are you in sin tonight? Is there a spirit in you that got you rebelling against this message tonight? Upset and mad at the Bible? That's right. That's right. Pastor Jenny, do you got to say it so rough? Yes. That's right. The Bible said rebuke them sharply. sharply. That they might be sound in the faith. In the faith. Yeah. It's a commandment that God gave. That's right. He said, rebuke them sharply, sharply. That they might be sound in the faith. This witness is true. Wait a minute. Amen. Titus says what? Titus chapter 1 and verse 13. Says what? This witness is true. That's why some say he ain't got no love. I got plenty of love. I got the love of God. <laughs> That's right. All you souls came here from hearing the message. You think I'm going to stand by and let the devil destroy your soul? Oh, no. My job as a minister is to protect your soul. <laughs> I want to protect the soul of the ministers and everybody. Amen. That's my job as a watchman. Amen. If I'm not going to watch out for your soul, you don't need me. Right. That's right. I can't watch out for your soul with favoritism. I got to tell you the truth. I said I have to do it. I know some of you over the air now making comments. You see that? He's full of himself. No, I'm full of the Holy Ghost. <laughs> the reason why some of y'all watching is not used to someone that's up in your face with the Bible because you got these weak, spineless sugar daddy for bishops. Yeah. And you're giving him so much money, he can't dare take a stand like this without offending someone, and they threaten this check. That's right. They ain't got no check for the church to threat. No. I'm a working man. That's right. And I can say like the Apostle Peter, let me freely speak unto you. I can preach it freely. Amen. The Lord is coming. There ain't no time to get distant from the Lord. I'm laboring to get you closer to him. That's the right. Lord is coming. That's right. The talent that God is bringing into the church, the choirs, and the many thousands of souls that's coming in, they ain't, they ain't good enough. They ain't good enough. COVID killed some of the members here in Jamaica. 
some of the members in America, some of the members in Europe, 